Happy learning! Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Pharma Topics channel is the first time. Let us see about the classification of powders. This is the second series related to pharmaceutics. The powders are divided into three categories. One is powders for internal use, powders for external use and special use. Powders for internal use is divided into two types. One is bulk powders and divided powders. Uh, the bulk powders include effervescent powders. The divided powders include simple powders where, where there is only one uh, uh, medicament. Compound powders, uh, they contain more than one medicament. Catchets, uh, they are called wafer capsules and tablet triturates, which are uh, molded tablets. Powders for external use are uh, dusting powders, dentrifices, insufflations and snuffs. Special use powders are eutectic mixtures, effervescent granules and powders to be reconstituted. So granules, what are granules? They are powder agglomerates. The normal size of granules is 4 to 12 sieves. They have good flowability and compressibility and more stability when compared to powders. The preparation of powders, there are different methods. One is spatulation, mixing with a spatula in a porcelain tile. It is applicable for a small quantity of powders. Example, mixing uh, eutectic powders, camphor, menthol, thymol. Trituration, where it includes uh, usage of a mortar. Well, it reduces the particle size. Pulverization used for soft and gummy substances. Example, camphor plus alcohol. Then levigation. Uh, the powder is added with a levigating agent, then triturated. Geometric dilution. It, uh, this method is uh, applicable when large quantity of diluent is used. Then sifting. The powders are passed through the sifters. Uh, it does not involve addition of uh, potent drugs into a, a diluent base. Tumbling, this method uses uh, blenders to mix uh, large volume powders. Packaging of powders, basically the packaging consists of uh, container, closure, cotton, box. Packaging is uh, done for environmental protection, such as uh, protection from temperature, moisture, humidity, light and protection from gases. Mechanical protection, that involves uh, the protection from compression, impact and vibration. The type of uh, packaging includes uh, three. One is primary packaging, uh, they are glass, plastics and metals. Secondary packaging, they include the outer cottons. And tertiary packaging, it is suitable for bulk packaging. The caution symbols in packaging includes fragile, the direction of usage, that is this way up, keep away from sunlight, keep away from water, do not use hand hooks and do not clamp as indicated. The containers and closures uh, uh, for oral administration, it is wide mouthed, screw capped, colorless glass jars are used or plastic material can be used. Inner wrapper or parchment paper is used for oily or volatile ingredients. For external or internal body cavities, uh, for such powders such as uh, dusting powders are dispensed in airtight glass or plastic jars having reclosable or perforated lid. Usually metal sifter top tins are used and plastic squeeze bottles are also used. Uh, wide mouthed colorless screw capped plastic squeeze bottles uh, are used for dispensing insufflations. Soda lime glass uh, type 3 is used for packaging the powders for external use. Usually the labeling requirements, uh, it usually contains the preparation name, strength, directions for use. Legal requirements such as batch number, license number, manufacturing date, expiry date and uh, company name. For example, uh, catchets, uh, they are uh, wafer capsules. They are used for uh, the powders which uh, are the drugs which has to be consumed in larger quantities. Usually they are labeled with a direction for use. Immerse in water for a few seconds and then swallow with a draught of water. Draught means a small amount of water. You can see at the base uh, there are three type of catchets, wet seal, dry sealed uh, with uh, dome or dry seal with uh, dome. Dusting powders, uh, you can see the candied dusting powders, that is uh, the dusting powders which are antifungal in nature, antibacterial in nature. Uh, the dusting powders are of uh, two types, uh, one is uh, medicated uh, dusting powders or surgical dust, uh, dusting powders. 
the dusting powders are usually labeled for external use only to be applied on open wounds only and keep out of reach of children and solid mixers they are powder mixers two type of mixers are available one is a dry mixer uh, it is a ribbon uh, blender mixer and tumbling mixer these two mixers are used for mixing the powders uh, this as uh, previously discussed in the first uh, a presentation also hoarseness ratio equal to tapped density by bulk density angle of repose it is a uh, tan inverse h by r h is the height of the heap of the pile and r is the radius of the base of the pile cars index is the it indicates the percentage uh, uh, compressibility aqua fill is a machine which fills a powder in hard gelatin capsules and aqua gel fills powders in uh, soft gelatin capsules you can uh, see with this chart uh, you it is very easy to remember you can attend many multiple choice questions when you uh, memorize uh, this uh, chart uh, i have given a uh, cars index hoarseness ratio and angle of repose for different types of powders uh, the flow prop based on the flow properties excellent uh, flow property powders are usually non cohesive in nature the cars index is less than 10 or 5 to 12 Hoarseness ratio is 1 to 1.1 and angle of repose is less than 25. Good powders. They are also non-cohesive and the cars index ranges from 12 to 18. Hoarseness ratio is 1.12 to 1.18. Angle of repose is 25 to 30. Fair or possible uh, uh, flow property powders are also non cohesive in nature the cars index uh, is 18 to 23 hoarseness ratio is 1.19 uh, to 1.25 angle of repose is uh, 30 to uh, 40 and uh, very poor uh, substances or poor substances or extremely poor substances are non -co are cohesive in nature they stick to each other so that reduces the flow property so poorly poor powders have the cars index uh, 23 to 35 hoarseness ratio 1.35 to 1.45 and angle of repose is usually greater than 40 41 to 55 very poor uh, powders they have cars index 35 to 38 the hoarseness ratio 1.46 to 1.59 angle of repose is 56 to 65 and extremely poor uh, powders they have cars index greater than 38 hoarseness ratio greater than 1.6 and angle of repose greater than 66. The right side table tells the powders of different kinds, pores, powders. They pass, they sieve, uh, all the entire coarse powders pass through uh, the sieve number 10. Moderately coarse uh, powders uh, completely pass through the sieve 22. Moderately fine powders completely pass through the sieve 44. And uh, fine powders completely pass through the sieve number 85 very fine powders uh, pass through the completely pass through the sieve number 120 micro fine powders they completely pass through that is not greater than 90 percent uh, must pass through 350 and super fine powders it must pass through the sieve with a 10 micrometer uh, diameter uh, let us see the possible probable exam tips powders are uh, more stable than i have given the options uh, tablets capsules syrups and elixirs let us see the answer it is syrups powders are more stable than syrups the dash are uh, finely divided medicated testing powders meant for introduction into body cavities so it is in supplations dusting powders are dispensed in you know, given the options a uh, plastic container sifter top container carton box and metal containers and the answer is sifted top container abrasives used in dentrifices are several examples are here calcium sulfate magnesium sulfate and sodium carbonate and the uh, uh, answer is all medicated dusting powders are uh, used for uh, body cavities or superficial skin conditions during surgery or used in major wounds the answer is superficial skin conditions Effervescent granules contain uh, citric acid, tartaric acid, sodium bicarbonate or all. The answer is all the things contain the effervescent. It is present in all the effervescent granules. Some of the other tips are effervescent powders or bulk powders. Bulk powders are non-potent. Insufflations, you remember just ENT. 
according to ip 2007 oral powders are finely divided powders chalk bp is a indefusible powder dentrifices are tooth powders used to clean the tooth uh, with the help of toothbrush uh, let us see some of the multiple choice questions uh, additionally uh, following is a derived property of powder the options are surface area particle size bulk density or none and the answer is bulk density it is a it is a derived property following is not used as a measure of flow property of powder the options are compressibility index hardness ratio angle of repose and bulk density the answer is bulk density so this is not uh, used to measure the flow property of powder which of the following property is a derived property of powder uh, size distribution surface area of powder porosity or none of the above the answer is porosity this is the answer it is a derived property of powder air permeability method is used to determine dash of the powder that is volume density weight on specific surface area and the answer is specific surface area cars index compressibility index gives an idea about uh, the options are flow property of powders cohesiveness of powders both are none we have seen in the table it tells about the flow property as well as the cohesiveness so the answer is both if cars index of a powder is uh, 10% then the type of uh, powder flow is the options are poor excellent very poor and good if it is very less then it is a excellent powder flow if a free flowing powder in a free flowing powder the bulk density and the tap density would be close in value therefore the cars index would be the options are small medium large and none so the answer is small according to ip uh, bp very found powder is a one in which all the particles pass through 120 sieve 90% pass through 350 sieve all the particles uh, uh, pass through 350 sieve or 90% are, are of the size uh, less than 10 micrometers so it is all the particles pass through 120 sieve the next is angle of repose is a measure of surface tension viscosity flow property of powders and density the answer is flow property of powders free flowing powders show a flatter cone have smaller angle of repose the next is which method is used by pharmacists for complete blending of cotton powders with large quantities if the powder quantity is less then it is potent and then they are mixed with larger quantity means uh, it is geometric dilution which of the following powder shows greatest degree of dustability the greatest degree of dustability the options are talcum powder lycopodium powder pine charcoal and potato starch the greatest degree of dustability dustability is exhibited by lycopodium powder which one of the following is not used in baby powders stearic acid boric acid kaolin and calcium carbonate the answer is boric acid is not used in baby powders dowers powder used as a diaphoretic contains ipecac and opium senna and cinchona opium and cinchona or all of the above the answer is ipecac and opium for measurement of particle size of powders the distance measured between two tangents on opposite sides of particle parallel to some fixed direction is called the options are ferret diameter martin diameter projected area diameter and edmondson diameter the answer is ferret diameter so go through all the series related to uh, tnmrb pharmacist exam series in the pharma topics channel Uh, tnmrb pharmacist uh, playlist is available if you like this video press the like button kindly subscribe to pharma topics channel kindly share this video to your friends and all the groups which you know who are going to write the exams all the best for your exams and wish you a success thank you